So please, let's break free from this mentality that people don't support you because they hate you or because they are jealous or envious of you. What? That's a very childish mindset to have. People might genuinely not be interested in what you are doing. People have busy lives, like people are busy running their own lives. People have their own challenges. It's just so self-centered to think about you, 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 and you know, people not patronizing you because they hate you or because they are jealous about you. What? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'll be talking about entitlement mentality and how to deal with it. You know, I don't know, it is just annoying to see why people feel that they are entitled to things and why they deserve special treatment because they are on earth but let's undo it how can we deal with entitlement mentality and how can we nip it in the bud so without further ado let's get right into it our scriptural reference will be taken from proverbs chapter 22 verse 29 in the message translation it will be in the description box down below the first thing that we have to know is that you have to be excellent at what you do Excellence speaks for itself. Even Daniel was 10 times better than his colleagues and he was relevant in the reign of two kings. Daniel did not have to, you know, go to the kings and tell them, oh, don't you know that I am an excellent person? Oh, don't you know that I am relevant? No, his excellence speaks for itself. He didn't have to be entitled to anything, but he just had to be excellent at what he did and that was what made him stand out. Also know that when you are excellent, people would always refer you the reason why it might be that the reason why people are not referring you is because you are not excellent at what you do they might be your friends so they might not want to hurt your feelings by telling you that you know what you are doing is not really it but when you are excellent people will always refer you people would always patronize you whatever you are doing if you have a business if you have you know whatever you are doing basically people would always refer you and you would definitely stand before kings and not mean men even as our scriptural reference said the second thing on how to deal with entitlement mentality is that you have to improve on your skills no matter how excellent you are there is always room for learning there is always room for improvement don't feel that oh you have arrived because you know, people are already patronizing you and so you remain in that state people are moving forward people are learning new things every day new informations are coming up don't remain at the back by following the old information that you knew before the information of the 19th century no improve on your skills learn new things no matter how relevant you are right now if you don't improve on your skills you'll be outdated daniel the reason why daniel was able to be relevant in the reign of two kings was because he continually improved on his skills he did not rest and you know rely on the fact that he was relevant in the reign of the first king but he continued to improve his skills he continued to read books because of that he remained relevant so improve on your skills don't be satisfied with where you are right now learn new things be open to learning from people no matter the age range it is funny how it might be that it's a younger person that will teach you some things that you might not know about because right now we know that we're in the internet generation so maybe you might feel that oh because i know this thing but i'm not really good at the internet but you know i am wiser i am older and so i'm supposed to you know i am entitled to this thing no learn how to operate the internet learn microsoft word learn powerpoint all these things things that you learn all these little, little things that might seem insignificant you don't know when you will need it later in future so learn to improve on your skills so that you can remain relevant the third thing i want us to know is that nobody patronizes mediocrity nobody will spend their money on things that will not give them value right now people are looking for ways to save their money and how to spend wisely because the economy that we are in would not encourage spending on things that will not give us value so if you are not a, a person that is giving value people would not what people will not be encouraged to patronize you people will not be encouraged to you know spend their money on you so know that nobody patronizes mediocrity nobody associates with mediocrity so if you feel that oh, people don't patronize you and you know they're supposed to patronize you look inwards if you are truthful to yourself you will see that you are not giving it your best you are not excellent at that thing people will not tell you but that is just the fact feedbacks are the most honest way of knowing the minds of people if people are not patronizing you if people are not spending money on the things that you are doing it might be that you are not giving you know value for their money learn ways to stand out in your business in your line of work learn ways to be unique constantly improve on your skills or maybe you are a caterer learn things that are going to be unique to you so when people see you and your business they will notice that something is standing out from the rest of you know the crowd also know that nobody ignores excellence 
learn to take correction as i said earlier so that you'll be able to improve learn to take feedback don't take feedback as an attack to your person no feedbacks are genuinely meant to make you better it might be that the feedbacks don't come in a way that you want them to come but the most important thing is that the feedback is there and it is now left for you to work on that feedback to improve and be better also learn from the mistakes of others don't wait until you make your own mistakes and you know after making your own mistake you now expect somebody to patronize you so after doing a bad business for somebody you now expect the person to come back again to patronize you no even if it's me safe i will not patronize you because i would want value for my money so learn from the mistakes of others people that are in the line of business as you are people that are in, the, in your career path learn from them learn their mistakes learn what they did to you know achieve their goals learn what they did to be in where be at where they are right now and you know implement on those things if it is not broken don't try to fix it learn from people's mistakes don't wait until you make your own the fourth thing that i want us to know is that nobody owes you anything your family do not owe you anything your friends do not owe you anything so please stop this entitlement mentality of people you know you you expect people that oh this person owes me something even if you helped the person in the past nobody owes you anything when you have that mentality of you know wanting people to repay you for your favor is for your favors in the past it only leaves you to disappointment if somebody has decided to help you they decided to help you from the free will of their heart and not from a, a standpoint of wanting to repay you for you know your past deeds or anything you would only be disappointed if you constantly feel that people owe you things and people should you know repay you for the past favors that you did if you want to help somebody help the person and forget about it let it go keep it moving don't keep it in your heart don't uh, don't do things for people in order to gain things in return that is just very messy please don't do that to yourself don't expect anything from anybody you might help somebody today and the person forgets and you you are there you are still thinking that oh i helped this person and this person did not patronize me in my business girl improve on your skills nobody ignores excellence and remove that help from your mind it has gone if you don't want to help the person, don't help the person. But it will be unfair and it is very it is very manipulative to do things for people in order to gain something in return. It is just not it at all. Please don't do that to yourself. Stop it if you are doing it. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. If people don't patronize you, trust me, they don't hate you. Don't take it personally. It might be that they are not interested in what you are doing they might genuinely not be interested in your you know line of career or in what you are selling or anything so don't 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 create a non-existent hate, haters in your head don't create haters that do not exist in your head don't don't feel that people hate you because they don't patronize you because they don't support you in whatever you are doing just continue to do what you are doing be excellent stand out and don't be excellent because you want to pepper them or because you want to show them no do it from a place of as a place of worship to God and because you know that you know you're going to give account for every gift that has been given to you and not because you want to prepare anybody or you want to show your haters I think it's just a very messy place to be in so please let's break free from this mentality that people don't support you because they hate you because they are jealous or envious of you what that's a very childish mindset to have People might genuinely not be interested in what you are doing. People have busy lives, like people are busy running their own lives. People have their own challenges. It is just so self-centered to think about you, 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 and you know, people not patronizing you because they hate you or because they are jealous about you. What? Even I am so irritated you are even talking right now. Let's stop this mentality and let's renew our minds with the word of God and let's just be excellent because it is our service to God and it is our you know assignment to be excellent Christians. The last thing I want us to know is that your help comes from God and not from people. When you depend on people, when you, you know, think that it is people that would help you or, you know, take you to where you want to be, you would, your focus will be shifted from God and that is just the same because our help only comes from God. Our help does not come from the government. We've seen over and over again that the government is a very unreliable you know source of dependence you can't depend on the government you can't depend on your job you can see this in the last two years during the pandemic how thousands of people were laid off but god is the only constant your help does not even come from your health your help does not even come from your finances so no matter how wealthy you are 
if you continue to depend on your finances anything can happen at any time that will just change the story it's not be a portion i'm not praying for that but all i am saying is that real and lasting help only comes from god and god alone may god help us in jesus name so quick question have you encountered entitled people before how were you able to handle them let me know in the comment section below because i know that entitled people are very difficult to handle so if you have experienced if you've had an experience of you know entitled people in the past please let me know in the comment section below how you were able to navigate that so that'll be all for now thank you so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment your thoughts if you have any question or video ideas please also leave it down below in the comment section and share subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much once again and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, remember that I love you but Jesus loves you more. Bye. Where do you ha? Ha ha ha. Are you each factor? So no matter how healthy, healthy. So no matter how wealthy you are, ha. Ah ah. Which one of the each factors is? So no matter how wealthy you are.